friends haunt my dreams. I know part of the thing I feel like with, with this record is that this is kind of a code red situation for Torso to make this record. Yeah. This record's been a long time coming and it's kind of, there's an urgency, like sometimes now. there's a wave now. Sometimes there's a wave of energy that comes around. If you don't get on it, you might be waiting for another decade. And yeah. I feel like that wave is now. And so like when I sing it, that's a lot of times what I'm feeling. And I think that's why it ended up being the title track, because it just kind of sums it up. Code Red, Code Red, 2014, Code Red. It's like alerting you to something, and you can interpret it whatever way you want, but it's alerting you to something that's ferocious. At night, oh so, so yeah, so we started this record with a kind of an unusual plan. I think we thought we were gonna have three producers in the mix. Mm -hmm. Guy we'd worked with a long time ago, another friend of a friend who we'd always wanted to work with, Greg Fine. Uh, to work with a band that incorporates so many styles, especially for mixing, because there's really no template of uh, how to approach a mix, necessarily. So you're kind of creating something new, something that's a hybrid of many styles, and you have to find its own direction, you know. We're also gonna work with Ron St. Germain. Mm -hmm. To me, the biggest contribution is he helped us maximize the song. Yeah, he really came in and edited. He came in with a hatchet. With the and but it was good. A good hatchet. He really yeah. cut out all the fat. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he was brutal, but it was he great. Was. Yeah. Uh, we we need high end firepower on the drums. Yeah. I mean, it really needs to be. The cool thing about three different drummers is you get these different shades of Screaming Hunter's Torsos. Yeah. It's definitely, you know, a cool thing, you know, playing in this band, you know, the torsos, because you, with, you run through all the different genres inside of one tune. For me, it's like a major challenge, and, and uh, like you said, just like you said, going from metal to straight ahead, you know, I get nervous. <laughs> but that's the challenge. I first got hip to the torsos my freshman year in college when I heard the live album. And I was like, whoa. Okay, I can play in odd meters and still be funky at the same time and not lose people. That's like, okay. DJ. DJ is David Ginyard on bass. He's on bass. A, he's an absolute joy. He's just this radiant light. He's always smiling. Country boy. And Sweet as pie from down south. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I played with some bass players. They nail it, and it sounds great. It feels great. And, you know, could you possibly want more? No. But then with DJ, he's kind of a kind of a poet on bass. I know I'm moving on. Aki's like the utility man now, because he's got me covered on vocals. His main acts is keyboards, but he can comp and fill in while you solo. Uh, he's singing backgrounds, he's doubling leads, he's soloing too which takes a lot of the burden off you sometimes, because I know one of the things I love about you as a guitarist is you're the first person to say, I don't want to solo all the time. Wu Cow Moon, tribute to Bernie Morrell, and um, you wrote it, of course, about yeah, Bernie. Yeah, that's another one of those things that was laying around forever. Mm -hmm. I played with Bernie for a year in the 90s. It was a great experience. Bernie was doing a clavinet solo, and it was just so funky. I forgot I was on a gig. So I, I kind of wrote a song back then that turned into Wu Cao Mu, and it's about Bernie. He's the wizard of uh, we have a great time when we're on the road. I, I just love playing music, and this is what I was born to do, and the fact that I can go on the road and play the music that I love playing with, people that I love playing with, that, that's the ultimate blessing. Screaming at the Torsos to me is, is, is a rock band, a funk rock band. 
People should be um, dancing, rocking out, or on the last couple of gigs, trying to crash the barrier. Or trying That's to get a new experience. Or trying to get me to sign the I can really get used to. I can't wait to hit the road. Yo, keep that shit down. <laughs> <laughs>